Alright, hello and welcome back to Let's Play yet another No Name Aim game. Today's No Name Aim game is, of course, Kubrick. <laughs> machine name Lewis? Each, each machine has its own little name? That's pretty cool. And only a little bit of a sign of the impending robot apocalypse. So, let's play the play mode. Let's get rolling. First thing you notice is that the music is amazingly catchy. Next thing you notice is uh, it's a block puzzle, the sliding block puzzle to be exact. And oh man, never was too good at these. So let's see if we can uh, figure out how. Oh man. That's not gonna turn out well. But yeah, if you've never, um, if you've succeeded at these as kids, then well, you might find this a little too easy for you, but otherwise, it seems like it's enough of a challenge. Oh, well, I guess you do have some pausings. So let's see, first button, second button, third button. Okay, third button lets you pause the little rover guy, which, uh... No? Come on, I could, I could use some pause. Oh, maybe that takes up a life from the sad octopus. Anyway, let's continue on. Hmm. Maybe we'll get lucky and he can work over now. Because uh, I can't just keep doing the same thing over and over again, and yet... Hmm. Well, there's there's an idea, but unfortunately, it's, it's lacking in realization. Oh wow, this game is really going to be hard, huh? Oh well, that's nice. You can press, you can move all of them at once. I think with this new little technique, we probably can do this. I'm, as always, ever optimistic. So, we just need to, um... What? Oh, time out already? I was a good boy this time. Oh, oh, I see. So you have to buy more play- <laughs> that's interesting. You just put in more credits and it gives you more play time. So this game is like completely abstracted the notion of credits even, just trading it in for like a more generalized playtime concept. Which, well, I mean, it is the evolution of gaming. I don't know, I've just always found the tension between, um, <laughs> you can mess with the little rover guy. Unfortunately... Alright, so this is my pride on the line, so I think I'll just kind of cut to, um, however many times it tries. And just to give you an idea of... well, okay. Oh, skipping. That, that won't help us, though. So the time's at 500. Let's see how long it takes. See you guys then. Alright, you're probably just joining back with me. So I think I've figured out the secret. What the thing is, is that you can move around the panels when the guy's on them. Now that was normally something that would take like forever to figure out, but... I mean, I'm sure it might have been on the packaging or something. It's like, you can move the tiles while the guy's on the tiles. But, um... That was not what I first thought. So, I guess that kind of goes for show. Goes to show you, you can't really take things for granted in video games. 
and as you can see from the playtime, it only took me about 150. Well. So yeah, this game, it lies a bit more in the subtle manipulation of the blocks as you go along, rather than any sort of, like, pre-planning, which kind of an interesting way to do a puzzle game. Although I guess it does kind of inject a little bit of action to it, like you actually have to do things as the uh, little rover goes along, rather than just... Oh dear god. Well, that's... Oh no... And then he's gonna... Well, okay, I'm sure if he re... I'm pretty sure there's something weird where it's like, if he goes up... Then he's going to go all the way up to the, yeah, top of the screen. And then we just need to... Okay. So, again, it didn't tell us something, but at least this one was a bit more intuitive. So it's a little bit like Pac-Man. He reaches the end of the screen, and then he gets to go to the other side. Wow. I don't know, in retrospect, that was, like, kind of ridiculous for, like, an initial level. But... Now, what can you do? And then, yeah, as you saw, we've got a couple of octopus pause bombs in the lower right-hand corner. Well, we did before I used them all, but... Oh gosh, so it really does become kind of a game of timing. And there's no really speed-up button, but I don't know. The first few ones were hard enough that I think I'm good. Still, this yeah, weird. So I guess it's kind of like an action-y puzzle game. But, I mean, it really does make you kind of think. Although, that being said, like, once you... Oh, crap. Um, once you get into the puzzle... Oh. Alright, once you get into the right mindset, then it's not such a hard game. Oh. Okay. If I had an octopus pause bomb, this would be a little easier. But the idea is we need to create a... Sp no, we don't. Oh. Do we really have to just be that fast? So the idea is we want to create a space below that. He's on there, on there, on there, and now we're golden. I mean, it's it's a lot easier seen than done. It's a lot easier said than done. Although some things are easier done than said, so... Well, I mean, the mall I had would feel out of place if this were any other game than a uh, Konami-developed game. Interesting. Okay. Oh, warp count. Is it, is it subtly counting down so you only have so many things? That wasn't so challenging. And then now we've got like a little crazy background. In the, it, it feels like Super Hang-On in the background. Which is really weird, because the one the left-hand side is, like, perfectly animated, and the right-hand side is... Oh, and it continues. Okay. This shouldn't be so hard. We just need to keep it going. Okay, how... What, what is this? So I'm assuming... Because we've got this weird little cross block in the corner, and I have no idea what it's going to do. Well, now I have every idea what it's going to do. So it's going to go, it's going to go, it's going to go... But then it'll get stuck here. Let's try that again. It's going to, it's going to go... Yeah, give, give me a little bit of a pause break to, um, figure out this little cross block. And we're setting the timer yet again to 540, and see you guys later. Christ. So we want it to go there, we want it to go all the way over there. And then we want it to go up.
Hmm. No, we can't effectively do that. So now we can move it down. It's gonna go... And then so... We just need to be able to move that over one. And then move it into there. This might not work. Well, give ourselves as much time as possible. We just need to cheat it over there. Oh crap. Octopus pause bomb. rough, but uh, this'll do it. Okay, so I figured it out. That was... Well, as you can see, it no took me another hundred-something. So I will say this, this puzzle game is actually kind of tricky. Like, you've seen all the other puzzle games, the quote puzzle games I've been playing, and I've just been like blasting through them with nary a thought, but oh wow. That's tricky. So, and then we can't even move these? Oh my gosh, this game just, like, does not cut you a break. How... And then... Ooh, my god. <laughs> wow. I mean, I don't necessarily like, like, the action-y part of this game, where it's like, it keeps on going where you constantly have to, like, think of, um, how to do things on the fly. But on the other hand, like, this is... These are, like, pretty nice puzzles. I mean, they all kind of follow the same sort of pattern, but then, at the same time, you still have to work with, like, what you know, and, like, remixing it each time to, like, get further and further and further. So, I mean, as you can see, there's, there's no way I can keep up with, like, just kind of doing these sorts of puzzles on my own time, but... Dang, well, Kubrick, that, I wasn't expecting a whole lot out of you, but this is an amazingly, amazing puzzle game. It's, like, definitely worth playing through, definitely worth, like, seeing if you can handle the onslaught of the Kubrick. Not really something you can do while talking at the same time. I mean, it's, <laughs> it'll take up all of your thinking power. Huh, word count? Oh, it's just... So I guess, in theory, the guy can only go 90 spaces at once. I'm not sure that that's a real issue. Well, that was Kubrick. Surprisingly amazing puzzle game that one of these days I'm just going to have to go through and play it all. Well, on that note, this cat's got a scat.